Hey, good day to you. I am Todd, and I am just a regular dude walking in the Word. And today we are going through um, Joshua, and we're looking at chapter 2 when we're spending about nine episodes just looking at Rahab and how Rahab is a picture of um, our salvation through Jesus. Okay, this will be, uh, like I said, about nine episodes long um, because it has it's a picture um, it, of how our salvation through Jesus is. And so there's a lot of, of things we, we can talk about here. Yesterday we talked about how Rahab knew she was a sinner and that she and her people were headed towards destruction. Okay. Um, the, the ABCs of salvation is, is pretty simple. And this, that would be uh, step one there, acknowledge that you're a sinner, okay, um, or, or, you know, accept Jesus. Um, but acknowledge you're a sinner is the first step in salvation. Today we're looking at step two, uh, which the ABCs of salvation, the B would be believe in, in Jesus Christ. And this is a uh, word, and it's entitled today, a Rahab Believed. And you can see when what, what I'm going to read here today, how Rahab, she saw and heard everything um, about the Israelites coming into the land and knew what was uh, happening. It wasn't a, a big secret. And it would have been 40 years before that they had uh, crossed the Red Sea. And um, it, that was a, a huge miracle in itself. And the Egyptian army was destroyed. So the people of Jericho knew that was happening and knew that uh, eventually the people of Israel would be coming into their land. Um, and so Rahab knew this and she believed in the, in the God that was uh, doing all these uh, miracles and getting the people into the, the land of Egypt. I mean, not Egypt, uh, Israel. Okay. Into the promised land. I want to read here today. This is uh, taken today from Joshua chapter two. This whole series is from Joshua 2 because that's the whole story of Rahab uh, but verses 8 through 11 and then we're going to be going uh, flipping over to Hebrews okay Joshua uh, chapter 2 verses 8 through 11 it says this before the spies lay down for the night she went up onto the roof and said to them I know that the Lord has given you this land and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you we have heard how the Lord has dried up the water of the Red Sea for you, and when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to Sihon and Og, the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan, whom you completely destroyed. When we heard of it, this get this, this is verse 11. When we heard of it, our hearts melted in fear, and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is the God in heaven above and on the earth below. Okay, that's the key. That last sentence there is the key. I mean, she can go, uh, yeah, we heard everything and, and so forth. But this act of believing um, the, in the Lord uh, is that last uh, sentence there. It says, for, uh, for the Lord, your God, is a God in heaven and on earth below. Okay, so she's confessing um, her, her faith in God uh, here in this statement there. Um, and so that, that's a, a picture of, of her belief in God. And it's part of um, salvation. Uh, our salvation is to, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me turn now to, to Hebrews. Uh, Rahab, if you remember, Hebrew, uh, Hebrews talk is Hebrews 11 is what we call the um, hall of faith, you might say. Um, the author, which uh, many people would believe it's Paul, is writing this out and as he's writing this out he's listing different people that was the heroes of the faith um, in early um, in the Old Testament times and Rahab is mentioned okay and a lot of times we go Rahab but she was a prostitute and she lied and so forth but you got to remember her she was like what we would say today she was like a new Christian and as that new Christian she took that huge leap of faith um, into uh, faith, faith in God, okay, where no one else in that uh, town was, um, but she was and uh, made that commitment uh, to God and uh, made that action then by uh, taking in those uh, spies and uh, protecting them, okay. So Hebrews 11, it says this, uh, and this is Hebrews 11:31. 31. 
It says, By faith a prostitute, a Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. Okay? And again, this was an act of faith that she took in those spies uh, because she believed in, in, in God. And um, otherwise, why, why take in the, the spies and protect the spies and, you know, tell the lies, uh, helping the spies, unless you, you do believe in God. And that's what um, it's showing her, her, her belief in God, but then her putting her faith in God. And um, so much so that she's willing to take in these spies and protect these spies uh, in that. So this whole thing, uh, what I'm talking about today, is... Um, the second step in, sal in uh, our salvation uh, to Jesus, and that is believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so again, this is uh, Rahab is a great uh, picture of that. Let me pray with you, Lord God. I thank you for this time we can be together, and I pray that you would help us to understand these uh, uh, steps of salvation and how uh, Rahab is just a great example um, and a picture of your salvation that you provide for us. Uh, for those of us that may not have accepted your salvation, I pray that we would today. May we also be able to share your plan of salvation to others around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey in the book of Joshua, but more specifically, looking at these nine principles of, of a picture of Rahab and um, and that being um, our salvation through Jesus Christ. All right, Lord's blessing. I will see you tomorrow.